Hey guys, and uh, welcome to a bit of a late um, unboxing video, I suppose. Um, obviously, EXO came back earlier this year with Exodus, and because of their stupid de decision to have 20 different versions, um, I bought six. <laughs> um, so I bought Ishing's covers for both. Um, Kai and Sehun's covers for both because Yixing is my bias if you guys didn't know that already um, I don't I don't really know how you wouldn't know that if you've seen my videos about EXO before um, but yeah Yixing is my bias and then um, Chongin and Sehun are like my joint second bias I suppose um, so yes so to go along with that we have the repackage uh, which is here yay uh, and I'm so glad that there were just two versions I think that if SM had done the same thing again I probably would not have bought these I was very hesitant about buying the repackage anyway um, for that for this main reason you know kind of it's becoming a bit of a trend now all the different versions and um, so yeah so I'm getting a bit kind of like um, um, I had this conversation uh, with Shao360 um, because it just seems like these companies, SM and YG, um, are kind of forgetting about a lot of their fans and the kind of age that most fans are at and the kind of money that they do not have. Um, so, yeah, I do kind of feel a little bit... I'm getting a bit frustrated with K-pop releases. So I am being a little bit more sensible and I'm being a bit more patient and I am waiting for things to come out first before I decide whether or not to buy them. So, for example, Sister um, came back with uh, with their new one, and it's really good, and I really do want to get it, but there's four different versions. There's members member versions, and when they last released the mini album, there was a repackage as well. Well, there wasn't a repackage, but there was a summer special thing that came out, and it's like, oh, what do I do? So I'm starting to feel like this is becoming a bit of a trend. So this is kind of why I postponed getting this. Um, I actually bought this just before I went on holiday. Um, so I didn't pre-order it or anything like that. But I thought, no, I'll, I'll wait and see. Um, and a part of me also didn't want to support EXO whilst Big Bang were back, which seemed like a really good idea to begin with. And then I realised I was being a twat. So, um, yeah, I just like, I don't really care about the whole Big Bang versus EXO thing. I'm a VIP and I love EXO so you know for me it doesn't really matter. Um, nothing, uh, anything any other group will do will stop me from loving Big Bang as my number one. Um, doesn't matter if EXO win all the music shows you know it, it doesn't it doesn't take away how much I love Big Bang and how proud I am of them but I'm not going to talk about Big Bang because this video is not about Big Bang, this is about EXO. Um, I'm really not a fan of the football theme. I don't really s sort of understand why they've used it. Uh, I'm also getting a bit fed up with the fact that SM seem to be doing this. Now the hardback cover with the CD and the photo book is a really good, nice bit of packaging but they're doing it for all of their artists I mean I know they didn't do it for, they didn't do it for shiny there was a lovely jewel case involved and stuff like that but um, there's just it's they did it with amber they did it with FX they did it with super junior um, they did it with red velvet and now they've done it with EXO uh, you know I mean it's full of lovely strange pretty pictures um, okay. mm. Um, I don't really like a lot of the styling. I really don't understand why why they chose to do this to Minsuk. Like, seriously? I don't really understand why they choose to put clothes on him, to be honest with you. I know that sounds perverted, and it was meant to be. So, I'm really not sure why Kai is in a shopping trolley. Bit of a random thing. And possibly theft, I'm just saying. Um... My Yixing looks beautiful in this photo book. I'm not a fan of the pink jumper. I'm not a big fan of SM styling in general. I mean, sometimes I am and sometimes I'm not there. Um, I almost, I have to ju just say though that as this photo book has actually got a lot of big pictures, um, there's not so much. My cat just like walked past them. Hello! 
Okay. You just you just wander around. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot less like blank space. They have used the space a bit more now. I'm just I just why would you do that to it? Why would you do that? To be honest with you, I always feel like less is more. So the less K-pop idols wear, male or female, then the better. You know. I'm just saying, I'm not meaning to sound like a perv, I know I'm coming off as one, but, you know, I don't mean to sound like, well, I, I do. But, you know, I mean, I just don't really understand why you have to put jackets and ties and... Sh I've never been a fan of shorts on a man, I just think you need to keep your legs covered. Or th unless they're short shorts, then you've got the thighs. Oh my god, I really do sound seriously demented. I'm going to stop them. My lovely Yixing, there you go. Um, so I'm not really a big fan of the styling, uh, maybe it's just me and my age, I am a lot older than pretty much all of you, so I do apologise if I don't fully understand, but yes. Um, overall, I'm really happy with the, with the actual repackaged, I think Love Me Right is much better song than Call Me Baby, um, I still not a big Call Me Baby's okay, but I I think I would have preferred like Exodus or Playboy or even El Dorado. You know, it's, well, they probably wouldn't have been able to do El Dorado, is it? But those kind of songs are like my favourite songs on the album. Love Me Right is definitely in the top five, but Call Me Baby. There's so many different different ways they could have gone with that. To be honest with you, um, it's also kind of sad to see only nine members. And um, that's another thing that seems to have happened in between promotions. Tao is in America and I'm not quite sure whether he's going to be coming back. Um, so yeah, doesn't seem to make much of a difference though with their fan population in Korea. I think it's now illegal in Korea to not like EXO. I think if you're found out that you're not an EXO fan, you get shot. So uh, that's just a rumour, don't, you know, yeah. But yes, uh, I am a big fan of EXO, I'm really happy with, with these um, photo cards, so yes, I've managed to get some lovely photo cards. I'm actually quite happy with the cards that I've got, um, so in the original ones, these are the ones that I got in the original ones, and these are the two that I got in these two, and I'm very, very happy. I haven't actually had Kai photo card since my XOXO, so I'm super happy. And I got Satan again, so I've gotten Satan three times in this promotion, I think I'm... I'm stalked by him because I have his, which one, I've got his Mama card and I've got his Snow Globe as well. Yeah, so, yay. So I'm super, super happy and I also pulled Lei. Oh, that sounded weird. I mean, I got Lei's card, my lovely Yixing. I, I've never gotten him in a photo card before, so to get him in, in as a photo card is great. However, uh, <clears throat> this is not only the greatest EXO I'm going to change the different now because that one's broken. Uh, this is not the not only the most um, adorable, cutest, greatest photo card in EXO history. It's also the cutest EXO. No, it's it's, it's the cutest. I'm tired. It's the it's basically the cutest photo card in the history of photo cards. Is what I'm trying to say. Oh man, like seriously, how can you not love? I this is the one time. I've seen an EXO photo card on eBay that's not like my bias and been tempted to buy it. I just think that's so freaking cute. Um, I've never really um, realised how adorable they are. But yes, I'm glad I got Sehun three times. I got Yixing and I got Kai. So I'm, I'm a happy bunny. Anyway, I am going to go now because this is nine minutes long. Wow. I hope you guys enjoyed. Till next time. Ciao.